guys, welcome to yet another episode of Tori and Trends TNT. My name is Maris Chikama, your favorite talk girl, and with me is your girl, Glory Brown. But Maris, before I quickly jump to the first story we have today, mm -hmm. I want to comment on your makeup. Yeah. You have a new makeup artist, right? <clears throat> oh, Glory goes to the makeup artist. <laughs> then also, since you came on this show today, your phone has been ringing oh, from God. one call to the other. Oh. Is that the reason why you're looking all this fine? So you can actually run off immediately we're done? I promise you, Glory. <laughs> It is not a man calling me. It's just people. My phone just happens to ring a lot. It's nobody. But if not money matter, may you tell me. <laughs> you know, say if not money matter, I will surely tell you. So quickly to the first story we have here. It's about late Bobad's father, Joseph Aloaba, who has come out to say that Mrs. Omaomi, the late wife of Mobad, that she should go for a DNA test to confirm that his grandson is actually the child of late Mobad. And mind you, when Mobad is alive, we don't hear the story of DNA. Mm -hmm. Now when Mobad don't die, DNA story they fly. Some people are for her saying that let's her just do this DNA and take a rest. Other people are saying no, you have the right to do anything you want. You don't even really have to go with what people are saying. So Maris, what's the whole thing about this DNA thing? Do you think it's something she just have to do and let everybody rest or stand her ground to it? Um, I think that the matter has been over dragged and overflogged. True. Like they don't drag this matter. You don't say where the matter they go on. So if you ask me, she should just do the test and everybody should move on with their lives so that she can also have peace of mind. Because every day she comes on the internet, she says people are dragging her, people are making comments about her. Say then they talk, say she, they go kill her, say she they get death threats. Then just do the test. Everybody should rest. Even though Actually, if we say more, we talk through, nobody gets any rights to ask us to do any test for the picking except the child's father. But then I feel like, say, her husband, family, people still get mouth. They still get mouth for the matter to talk. Say, we won't know whether this picking will you carry come give us as our picking don't die. Whether now our picking, our picking son, I've been over our picking son. So maybe she just do the test, me everybody just rests. Um, one thing in my mind, I don't know whether they're right or wrong. They say this test, this DNA test, whether they drag her to do so. Maybe if they relating to property issue, they just want to really know whether I'm about to get it because so that their mind will rest that, okay, now our son is no longer here. The, the property goes to the rightful owner, not someone else's child. Because in Africa we day, we know we'll feed council the fact in Africa we day. And for Africa, those kinds of things are very serious matter so it's a very valid inquiry or a request from their own part and as this dna saga they rush for mommy side now so good news to the rush for arasta side <laughs> talking about arasta i'm so proud of her yeah. honestly arasta um, has a foundation an outreach basically in the rush community outreach and she started this last year what it entails is her providing water for communities that have difficulty getting water she collaborated with hope springs water foundation and this year now for this month we just end march 2024 she don't open water borehole for Orimolade Ifako community. This community where they talk so, it they hard for them to see water. They say they know they get water before Irasta come bring water come from them. So now some we be say we suppose they very, very proud of Irasta. Say yeah. she they young and yet she fit think of something like that. So I think it's very, very good news. Yeah, myself, I'm still proud of her because Irasta is one Gen Z body artist that you know she knows what's up. She knows where to touch the people. You get, mm -hmm. you know, people don't dare before Arasta. They never think of to do something like this. Or maybe they don't do something like this. But for Arasta age, you know, she gets fame and she still gets the opportunity to think about those where we say, you not know, they feel they get some basic things like water. Yes. And she can come out, come give people clean water. It's a very nice thing. It's not like some persons where we say, <laughs> instead of them to think of the good of the people, they, they do toilets. You know, you know, since I don't eat, neither get strength to go to oh toilet. But for Arasta, kudos to her, and I believe she's going to go far. But with you know, sir, I want to tell you something. Tell me. They go beat you. Huh. They go beat you very soon. How do they make me fear? No, I know they make you fear. I just need to tell you because you they throw bullets. No, 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 no. But but, but, but you say they do many things. What? Okay, one compare what's that to the other one when I take I take compare. No, we can't compare. Actually, bravo to Arasa. That was a wonderful initiative. 
Moving on to story number three. One of our very popular Nigerian artists, known as Gabriel Amani, aka Terry G, took to an interview to say that his best musician is Ashley Bonaboy. And talking about Bonaboy, you can't mention Bonaboy without bringing in David O, without bringing in Whiskey. Maris, what's the, I don't know, what's the collaboration within these three I, I, I really don't understand why it is that every time you mention these three artists together in a sentence, it's like, it's like, it's like we're locking horns. Yeah. Like, before you know, people will start a fight. Before you know, there, was, there, there was one time I saw two people, they were insulting themselves hmm. to the extent of fighting because of who is better between David O and Whiskey. So, so let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is number one, number two, number three when it comes to these three best artists? Me, if you ask me, I agree with waiting Terry G talk. Okay. Why? Because he didn't make an emotional statement. He didn't come out to say um, um, this person is this and then that's point black. He gave us instances, pointers as to why he thinks that by this yardstick, so, so, so and so person is the best of all three. He mentioned that Davido makes Afrobeat music. His music is strictly for Africans. He mentioned that Whiskey's music is for a different people entirely. And then he mentioned that Bonner Boy makes music for Nigerians and music that people abroad can also oh, listen which to. That's very correct. And when it comes to who is my favorite between Whiskey, Davido, and Bonner Boy, I really don't have any favorites. They are all my best. But Bonner Boy is actually called African Giant for a reason. So for me, Bonaboy all the way. I love Bonaboy music, so personally, I prefer Bonaboy. Okay, so speaking of Davido, contrary to the news that made rounds a few days ago on the internet that said that Davido had been arrested, Davido don't come out, come talk, say, nah, lie, say nobody arrest him, and nobody go fit to arrest him. Nine Dami Crane. Uh, uh, Dami Crane? Where yeah, Dami Crane for the fly commands? Not like I'm saying Dami Crane is not relevant, but Dami Crane has been on Davido's case for a very long time. I mean, that we pray sorry for David Dona. <laughs> Glory, I don't say it. <laughs> They go beat no, 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 I'm just stating the obvious. So what's Dami Crane saying about the whole situation? So Dami Crane is saying that they, um, they do making they do, they make mouth, they talk, say nobody go free, arrest them, say very soon and to go touch them. Now, Ibla say that arrest matter with day for on top this week because popular social media critic Martins Ose, Vincent Martins Ose, where would they call very, very dark, dark man. man? Don't enter police net again. But before we enter this story, we go go on break and then when we come back, we go enter the story proper. Welcome back to Story and Trends. Before we went on break, we're about telling you about the trendy saga currently happening on social media, and it's about very dark man. Very Darkman has been released from police custody, and this happened on Sunday. That can't never happen before marriage. He even talk say, then raise them up from prison the as day. Jesus raised up from the dead on this day. <laughs> Just a very sharp-mouthed human being. But this very dark man release, a lot of people don't shook my foot for the story. Some say they for live and there. <laughs> Some say they as they release them good. And the guy don't get fan base. Oh. <clears throat> the guy don't get a lot of fan base. And this very dark man, it don't bring a lot of collaboration between comedians don't pull out, um, therapists don't pull out, S artists, present artists. I'm also that won't bring one very colored man come out again <laughs> <laughs> okay so speaking of people we make comments about very dark man release music producer sam clef he talks say make him come share with us waiting him learn as him don't come slim -o. now this is martin's newborn again he can't talk say welcome back to reality son remember you go still they go report yourself for police station so waka jj now i'm be waiting um, sam clef sam clef what talk for, sam the so for inside this matter you know see i feel like say, away away for him. the way we very dark man take the talk he gets many people where he vex, especially public figures because yes. he too they drag people he say now him be uh, the uh, uh, ratel of what, Nigeria. Yeah, no yeah. Uh, so if they drag it with someone, say you know go get too many friends. So Sam Clef just a talking mind. Now talking about extreme uh, uh, comments, Etiosa, popular actress Etiosa, don't talk say <laughs> marriage is about sharing everything. Everything. And say when she been there married to her husband, she share infection joint. Yeah. Now I want to ask you something, eh, Glory. What do you think about 
infidelity for marriage? Ah, infidelity for marriage is a very big case, but it get away to be say the first deal with infidelity. Hmm. And this way that you start talking, not be lie because I want to tell your husband what you wish I say you don't want, and I your husband, and you don't know where the husband or worker go. go. <laughs> so definitely not go share everything. You know? like people share infection, and I know they share toothbrush. <laughs> share not only man they bring infection. Woman know they bring infection to. It's, it's both ways now. Cheating is not gender based. Not be only man they cheat. I feel say sometimes if women, 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 what happened to women? Sometimes because if women can be cheating and nobody will know, men they are they are narrow minded, they nobody are straight will know. focused. Nobody will know. I mean, I mean, they could catch. No, ah. feel, Okay, might what might I tell you? How you go take no? Tell me. Why go see say man go day? You don't get four children. They don't grow. You don't know say no be mm. the papa of all of them. Don't forget to follow us across all social media platforms at Wazobia Mass TV. And also, you can follow me on Instagram at glory underscore brand. Uh -uh. So, not only you now know Talk something. Talk your own now. Okay, okay, guys. You can follow me on Instagram at Marish Chikama. That is my Instagram handle. Until next time, see you. Bye.